I realized that I had been uh, placed in the article under the pseudonym of Randall, and I couldn't help but notice that almost everything that the article said about me was incorrect, which kind of put a lot of the facts in the article in question for me. I still really want to believe her story. I think that the way that evidence has been laid out uh, and as, you know, all of, you know, these, these clues come in, I think that that encourages what would be a healthy skepticism that should be indulged, but I'm really not in a position to comment either way on whether I think it's true or not because I don't know where I stand. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's true or not because whether this one incident is true, there's still a huge problem with sexual assault in the United States. The discussion that was portrayed in there about you know us not wanting to help her because then we wouldn't be able to get into fraternity parties. I you know I think it's ridiculous. Do I think she was raped? Maybe. <laughs> it's a very non-committal answer, I know, but um, maybe. Uh, you know I, I don't want to dismiss the possibility, um, and I know that. A lot of times people say, you know, that, that uh, rape survivors, you know, have trauma that affects their memory and there may be, you know, details that don't add up. Um, but for me, there are some differences that are, you know, very, very significant from the story.